Montgomeryshire Family Crisis Centre is a charity that provides specialist domestic abuse support services across North Powys. Our vision is that all women, men and children should live free from the fear and the experience of domestic abuse. One of our key projects is emergency temporary accommodation set within two refuges. We try to make everyone's stay feel as welcome and supportive as possible during what is a very emotional and stressful time. The residents have one-to-one -one time, group house meetings and activity sessions. We try to arrange any activity that the residents want as it's a great opportunity to bring people together to talk, to socialise, maybe learn a new skill and to start enjoying life. Well I arrived at the refuge just before a Christmas period and the workers made me feel welcome and uh, helped me to settle in very quickly. So as time went on, I found some of my confidence returning. I was able to make links with the local community and start to find myself again. And I couldn't have done this without the services of the refuge. I really don't know where I would be today without the refuge. Children and young people have their own support. We can discuss their concerns and give them time to talk. They also have weekly group meetings, play sessions for younger children and also lots of fun activities. Our aim is to encourage our residents to increase their independence, to make their own decisions and, when ready, begin to rebuild and organise their lives for themselves and their children. We also provide outreach support across all of North Powys. The adult team offer crisis support including risk assessing and safety planning. We can also offer long-term support and group work. For women we run the Freedom Programme and Recovery Toolkit and for men we have the Comfort Programme. These groups are a great opportunity for people to come together to discuss shared experiences and solutions and to gain a greater understanding of the causes and effects of domestic abuse. We don't set time limits for our services. We'll be with the clients until they feel safe, secure and ready to move forward with their lives independently. Ten years ago I got out of my relationship and only then did the abuse really start. For ten years I have battled to protect my son and myself from the coercive controlling behaviour that my ex-partner has exerted on us through a plethora of ways. October 2018, I actually had enough and I reported it to the police. They put me in contact with Women's Aid, who immediately put me in contact with the MFCC and my local support worker. Within hours, I was having a conversation confirming that I was actually a victim of domestic abuse. I can't tell you the relief to know that it has a label, that I wasn't going mad, that I wasn't alone anymore, and to not have to explain myself, to justify myself, to try and get someone to understand what I've gone through. The MFCC just knew. I've been on the Freedom Programme and the Recovery Toolkit and the things that I have learned as an intelligent person, I thought I already knew everything. I, did, I knew this much. You will be amazed at how many other people you walk past that have also been abused in the same way that you have. Throughout the MFCC, on these programmes, I have met women and girls that have been through horrific things but we get each other we laugh we cry we chat we talk we learn and we all miss each other when the course is over i'm no longer that person stood on the island fighting battling against the world with just my friends and family behind me i now am winning and i'm going to be the mother that i've never been allowed to be for the last 10 years for the rest of my life the Children and Young People team work therapeutically with 3 to 18 year olds. For the very young we use play therapy which enables the child to express their feelings and worries through play. We often meet older children at their school as this is a safe and comfortable setting for them. We concentrate on areas that the young people feel are affecting them the most. We use interactive games and activities enabling a fun and therapeutic atmosphere and when and if they are ready, they can join a group programme. 
The Star Club is run over eight weeks and each session has a mixture of games, activities and discussions including the experiences and effects of domestic abuse. The STAR programme encourages healthy relationships, preventing abuse in future relationships, whilst raising awareness of the help and support available. Welsh Women's Aid and MFCC are working together in providing free training to anyone interested in becoming an ASME ambassador. Our aim is to build a team of community ambassadors able to raise awareness about domestic abuse, to increase their confidence, to provide the right response to survivors, including how to signpost to specialist services. We want to bring our community together to reduce domestic abuse and save lives. We know that MFCC is close to our community's hearts, as often people will contact us looking for ways they can help either by raising funds, donated much needed items, or by giving up their time to volunteer for us. Every year, some of the Level 3 health and social care students based in Newtown campus join our young fundraisers. They also train to become ASME ambassadors. In 2016, a local woman was murdered by her partner here in Montgomeryshire. Her family contacted MFCC, stating that they wished she'd known about us and had found safety here within our refuge. And they wanted to help raise awareness. This bench was donated by the family in memory of their loved one, and also to remind us why we need a local dedicated specialist domestic abuse service. It's an absolutely brilliant thing to be able to say at, at my age that I've been able to start life anew because of the services of M MFCC. The MFCC has opened doors and give me access to help that I didn't even know I needed. The meetings themselves have helped and have helped, leave, helped me leave the abuse behind me. I can move on with my life and be that mum, be that mummy to my son that I've always wanted to be. I am John Simpson, Chairman of MFCC and I have the privilege of managing a very experienced and knowledgeable Board of Trustees. Regrettably, the need for our support services in Montgomeryshire is increasing at a dramatic rate. We are averaging more than one referral every working day. We need your help. In this short video, you've seen some examples of the support we provide. But we must do more, particularly to prevent future domestic abuse. Please help us to support our community. We will be most grateful for any donation you feel able to provide. Thank you.